Hi, this is Phil from Pens for Doodling. Last week I entered a competition on Twitter from yesteryear's fountain pens, where all you had to do was follow them and retweet their competition tweet, and you could win a mystery box full of stationary goodies. Well, surprisingly, uh, I actually won. So my mystery box arrived this morning, and I thought I would open it and uh, I thought I'd record it so that you could all see that it is actually possible to win things on Twitter. So thank you very much, Yesteryear's Fountain Pens. And uh, let's see what's in the box. I'm excited. Um, now, I did already cut the tape. So all I have to do is open it. And I promise you, I have not peeked. Okay, so I'm just going to have to open it like this. And... It's a beautifully packed mystery box, so... Oh, I'm already liking the surprise. Look at that ink. Wow, that's beautiful. Oh, Sailor as well. That that yellow is just absolutely gorgeous, so... <laughs> I'm already pleased, <laughs> and I've not even finished yet. My goodness. One thing I am always short of is uh, universal converters. So another lovely surprise. And look, there's even a yellow one to match with that yellow ink. Excellent. More inks. Oh, I'm going to have to open this. Sorry for this. Oh, that's a lovely green. I have a horrible feeling I'm going to be going ink shopping sometime soon. I love that little bottle too. How cute is that? Uh, that's the green one. Uh, dark ruby red. This sounds exciting. I, I have to be honest, already I couldn't be more pleased with, with what's in there because if there's one thing I use a lot of, it's ink. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's very nice. I'm thinking maybe some, uh, some floral pictures with that one. Oh, it just gets better. Look at that blue. Now, you can't really tell much from that bottle there, but uh, just look at the blue on there. That's going to be lovely. That's, I almost feel that should be a blue I write with because that is absolutely lovely. Uh, oh, hell, it's okay. I've not actually tried this brand before, so, so that'll be good to try. Uh, I'm going to assume... Excellent, another pen. I don't recognize the brand, so I'm always excited about trying new brands of pen. Uh, <laughs> you probably know this if you've ever watched many of my uh, review videos on YouTube. So, oh, so that's actually quite a surprising vivid green. Uh, I'm thinking foliage for that one. Uh, maybe some tree drawings. Ah, excellent, some refills for my uh, Lammies. I'm always going through these. This is a fabulous box. Oh, what a cute little pen. I think it's a rollerball. Let's have a look-see. Yep, it's a rollerball. You know, rollerballs are really great pens for just having in your pocket if you just want to sort of doodle when you're on a train or a bus. Sometimes fountain pens can just be a bit messy or you don't have the right paper for them. Because I found that once I get sketching with fountain pens. Wow, look at the size of that pencil. It's huge. Oh, there's a card. What a lovely card. I have to be honest, as far as mystery boxes go, I absolutely love the presentation. And uh, <laughs> look, there's even extra wrapped bits. This gets even more exciting. And some pelican cartridges. Uh, that's handy actually because uh, in my list of uh, pens to review, I actually have a Pelican waiting to be reviewed. Uh, at least I think it's a Pelican. Okay, so let's open the surprise boxes. Super mysteries. The mystery within a mystery. Mysteryception, if you will. Okay. <clears throat> I always feel bad tearing open packages that have been so carefully wrapped. But needs must. Oh my. Would you look at that? That is an old technical drawing pen. 
Oh my, how fabulous. Oh, I don't actually want to open it just yet in case I drop something. But look at that. That is... I must admit, I'm speechless. I didn't expect anything like this in the box. My goodness, I, I just can't wait to get that open and get that inked up. And Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Now, I must carry on because I only have a 10 minute limit on this video, so... I'm going to have to contain my excitement. I'm actually grinning here because... Sorry, I'm going to show that again because that is... I have to admit, I love old pens and there's just something magical about drawing with an old pen and... Wow. Okay, anyway, back to the, uh, the remaining two items. Oh, what an absolutely lovely little notebook. And, and it's got a little loop. There's a funny story behind this notebook. Um, because just last night I was actually saying to a friend, I need to get a new notebook because now that I've fixed the uh, Oto Tasha, I actually need a little notebook to put it with. And look, it's even got a pen loop for the Oto Tasha. That's absolutely fabulous. Wow. Uh, yesteryear's fountain pens, it's like you read my mind. And the one final thing here. Let's see what we've got here. It feels tinny, so... I'm not going to spoil the surprise for myself by guessing. Oh, definitely a tin. Ooh. Some new coloured pencils. I don't use coloured pencils very often, so this will give me the impetus to try, because it's one of those things I've been meaning to do for some time. So, fantastic. Thank you very much. I would be lying, though, if I didn't say that I was way more excited by these. Really, really excited. So, fantastic prize. Uh, fantastic giveaway. Thank you so much, Yesteryear's Fountain Pens. Um, I really appreciate it. And to everybody else, this just goes to show that if you see a competition on Twitter um, that just requires you to, to follow somebody and retweet... Yes, you can actually win some amazing prizes that way. So remember to enter because you may just win. And thank you once again to uh, yesteryear's fountain pens because, wow, so excited. <laughs> this is Phil from Pens for Doodling.